a foregone conclusion saying, I've never been more confident about a fight in my life. I've already beaten Bonner tonight. They just have to announce my name. Welcome his return in Oberhausen more than a year ago. Tonight, he'll fight in the Netherlands for the first time in six years. Here is Bada Hari!
This bout sanctioned by the International Sport Kickboxing Association. At the opening bell, your referee is Atsushi Onari. From Rotterdam to Reno, combat sport fans are tuned in around the world. It's time for glory! Introducing first, fighting out of the white corner. He is a WFCA world and European champion. His professional record, 50 wins, 19 losses, and one draw. 23 of those wins by knockout. He stands six feet, seven inches tall, a full two meters, and he weighed in with an official weight of 245 and one half pounds. One hundred eleven point four kilos fighting out of the Netherlands, ladies and gentlemen, Hesdy Fighter Heart Gerges. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the black corner, a former heavyweight world champion and two time world grand prix runner up. His professional record one hundred six wins. 13 losses and 92 career knockouts. He stands six feet, six inches tall, 1.98 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 224 and one half pounds, 101.8 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Morocco. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Bada! And your referee in charge is at Sushi Onare. Oh, this is glory rule. Three minutes, three down, okay? No cringing. Right, good fight. Can Hesti Gurgis shock the kickboxing world and send this sold out crown home stunned? Or will Take Bader Hari be Touch. the human wrecking machine Touch. that has made him Touch. a worldwide phenom? Here Ready? we go. Three rounds Hi. in there. A long wait for Gerges to get this fight back. Bader started with that jab. He makes that good body kicking. Bader Hari nearly 30 pounds lighter than we last saw him against Rico. He says he's quicker, he's stronger, and he's in better condition. Yeah, and you're ready. You're seeing his kicks flying, which is very impressive because Bader's got some vicious low kicks and left kicks. Gerges is really known for his low kicks. And we're gonna have to see that fighter hard in him. Gerges biding his time here. Hasn't let loose yet. He promised to put Potter through hell tonight. Gerges staying patient. Doesn't want to overcommit and open up. Right now it's target practice for Potter Hart. Yeah, he's just picking his jab, using his body kicks. But maybe Gerges is trying to weather the early storm, trying to take kick from Gerges. If there's one area that Gerges has the advantage, it has to be low kicks. Nice close range defense from Hesdy. Jab of Botter's gonna keep coming over and over. Finally, Gerges throws a punch. Switching stances, something we really don't see with him. That could be something that the change in Moosey Jim is working with him. Former coach Tom Harris, one of the best to bring kickboxing to Holland, still approved of Hesdy changing camps. Best trainers in the business, Big Mike, multiple world champions over the years. Now Hesdy unloading on Potter, who's covering up in the corner. And there's a low kick, and that got yeah, change levels with his punches, finish with the low kick. Potter back to that body kick. You see the redness building up on Gerges. 
That step forward right hand to the body is something perhaps that Gerges has been working on in training. That's definitely something really new. Nice heel kick from Bottom. Yeah, he's really known for that. He had some vicious knockouts with that spinning heel kick, which made him popular in the net when he was 19 in K1. An uppercut snuck through for Bottom Hari and it reddened the nose. The Pesty Gerges, another heel kick. Yeah, and he's switching stances too. There's that pressure style that Gerges needs. Keep Botter against the ropes. Well, again, a low kick, and Botter stumbling back across the ring. Yeah, very interesting round. A lot, I think Hesdy Gerges did a lot better that round than most people expected. And here it's Hesdy Gerges pressuring most of this round. There's that change in his stance. And then Bonner stayed really protected, and he's keeping his left leg up because he knows Gerges is going to finish that punch combination with the low kick. And here's Bonner mixing in that spinning heel kick that made him so popular when he was younger. Not only did he throw it from his right stance, he even turned southpaw and threw a spin kick from that southpaw position. What did, what did that last low kick tell you as Bonner went spinning back to the ropes? Sorry, Joey, you had to hear me. So what did that last low kick from uh, Hesty Burgess that sent Potter spiraling back to the road? And it, it did a lot of damage. It means they're adding up. It means that Hesty Burgess needs to keep going there. Potter's got to do a better job at defending it. Lady, lady, fight! Round two. Schedule for three. Potter's really trying to attack the body, whether with its body kicks or body punches. That's because Gerges has that high guard. Elbows up a little higher, leaving his body open, but great pressure fighting from Hesby. Not good body language from Potter right now. Hesby Gerges said he would force Potter Hari to quit. He would hey. maul him. Look at the smile on Gerges' face. Don't count Potter out. Sends Botter off balance. That's when Gerges is landing that kick the best. As Botter exit, Gerges lands that low kick. Botter calling him on. Botter waving Hesty in. Hesty says, no thanks. I'll just keep punching you and kicking you from out here. Look at me, Wait! Botter's staying really defensive. Is he trying to gas Gerges out? Nice rick to the body.
those priors and thudding blows to the midsection. Another spinning heel kick. Hey! Potter's going to that body. So Gets the body and then mixes the uppercut. Well, Potter can't be all that fatigued if he's trying spinning heel kicks with a few seconds left in the round. Now he's found his energy. Maybe this is what the lighter weight is doing. It. It's allowing him to, to keep this pace for longer. Okay, this is the sound, okay? Make of that what you will. This is the Hi. third and final round in a very close fight between Bader Hari in the black gloves and Hesky Burgess in the white. That second round was a lot better for Bader. He needs to keep that pace, the body shots, keep those body kicks going. Hesky needs to find some energy. Try to pressure fight again. It's, it's Bader backing him up against the ropes now. again. Waves Gerges in. Really liking that right shovel hook to the body. He's sitting down on his punches now as Potter Hart. There's a knee. Downstairs again. Just waiting for that Potter uppercut to fly. Stop! Hey! Well, Hesley was doing best was trying to push Potter back low kicks, but I don't think Hesney has the energy to do that. And it's Bader Hari pressure fighting now. So Knees to the body, punches to the body. Hey! You know, Rico Verhoeven's at home taking notes right now. High kick from Hesty Gerges. Hesty finding some energy, not too much power. This Stop. fight seemingly still up for grabs here Rick. with a minute 35 to go. Hey! If you give Hesby round one, Bonner round two, he's going to come to three. A low kick there from Bonner, and then he goes upstairs. Then downstairs. Yeah, really relying on that hard right, right hook to the body. Bonner has been more active in round three for sure. Fighting, finding his low kick. Bought her a few times trying that spinning back kick, but 
And there you go, Hesdy Gerges and his low kicks in round one did a lot of good damage. In round two, we saw Gerges' mouth guard come out two times, but Bader st started to find his groove, started ripping those good body punches, and really stayed close and became the pressure fighter in the third round, landed a good uppercut in right hand, really finishing off the third round really strong and really showing that, you know what, he still has that pace to go three rounds. Here's our strikes by round. Bader Hari in the first and third landed more, and it was Hesty Gerges in round two. Slight edge, 35-32. Looking at the punches, you have uh, Bader dominating with the punch count, uh, landing 68 to the 47 of Gerges. Kicks more towards uh, Hesty Gerges with the low kicks. Total strikes, um, edge to Gerges, uh, sorry, total strikes landed, went for Bader, but total strikes thrown was Hesty Gerges. Ladies and gentlemen, your main event of the evening goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals. One judge scores the bout 29-28. The four remaining judges all have it 30-27. A unanimous decision, all for your winner.